guys so I wanted to make this video because the other day I came across a similar video by someone um, with a channel on YouTube called Mad is Rad so I'm gonna go ahead and link that channel in the description box and be sure to check that out because she is pretty awesome and she has some great DIY videos before I get started I just want to let you know that it is completely okay to wear this formula on your lips it is non toxic and completely safe in fact this formula is safer than some lipsticks in our drugstores and department stores so I just want to let you know that this is completely okay the thing that I think is so fun about this DIY project is that you can use it to kind of develop your lipstick collection if you're someone who's kind of starting out in makeup or if you just want a lot of colors to play around with um, it's also especially good for Halloween time because, you know, you might decide to be a couple of different things for different events and you may want to be like an alien that would require blue lips or you might want to be like, I don't know, like something else that requires black lips. And so instead of going out and buying those, those odd colors that aren't really like regularly made or regularly, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I guess what I'm trying to say is instead of like wasting money on stuff like that, you can just make it with two things that you most likely already have at home. Um, you'll find that with this formula, I just use two ingredients. Now, I just want to let you know that these are not the end-all, be-all ingredients. There are people who put in multiple um, oils and things. They'll put in like beeswax and shea butter. They'll also put in um, peppermint oil if you want to give it a... a its own fragrance because this doesn't really have a fragrance. Um, peppermint oil would have to be uh, food grade though, so just be careful with that. Um, what else? Hmm. I will say though, with by using coconut oil, um, it does have a very subtle smell of coconut and I really like that. So if you really like the smell of coconut, then you might like to um, use coconut oil as well. But by all means, try out other oils and things like that. You don't have to use this recipe specifically. And that's pretty much it. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy this. I had a lot of fun making this. For this project, you will need coconut oil and Crayola crayons. You'll also need something to put your lipsticks on. We're going to start off with a pink crayon. Just go ahead and cut the crayon into about an inch length and then remove the paper all the way. Then go ahead and fill a little pot with about one cup of water and then set the heat to about low to medium and then put another smaller glass bowl into it and don't fill it with anything just set it there then you're going to take uh, coconut oil and you're going to put in half a teaspoon of coconut oil per inch of crayon if you want a sheer finish and then one fourth a teaspoon of coconut oil per inch of crayon if you want an opaque finish. Here I put half an inch, uh, I mean half a teaspoon, because I'm going for a sheer look. So then you're just going to go ahead and melt the coconut oil and then throw your piece of crayon over that. You can also go ahead and just like throw in all of the coconut oil at once and all of the crayon pieces at once. You'll eventually see me throw in all of the pieces and add more oil as well. The reason why we put the glass bowl inside of the pot and the reason why we don't put the crayon directly into the pot is because the crayon burns very easily so this kind of just helps to um, warm it up slowly and uh, less severely. It takes about 30 seconds to a minute for the crayon to melt so it really doesn't take very long at all. This is what the pink looks like. Again, I went for a sheer look, um, but of course you can go for an opaque look if you want a deeper, richer result. This is what the orange looks like. This is my favorite.
you guys like this video. Um, tune in tomorrow for another video since I'll be uploading every day until Halloween. My little series called 12 Days of Halloween. Until then, I will see you tomorrow. Bye!